The controversy over the planned 774,000 jobs doesn't seem to be over yet, as House of Representatives members who belong to the minority caucus have rejected the 30 slots per local government to each member, saying the allocation is unfair and unacceptable. And that is not all. The People's Democratic Party PDP has also condemned what it called the resort to political godfatherism in the allocation of jobs to associates of political office holders instead of an open process that will accommodate hard-working youth. We're now joined by Oladi Meji Fabi, a member of PDP, and Nelson Ekujumi, a public affairs analyst. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. I'm going to start with um, uh, Mr. Fabi. The process hasn't begun. It's you know, likely starting in October, and the PDP is already complaining. Uh, tell us quickly what you know. Well, thank you very much. Um, the PDP, as a major opposition party, will certainly have to speak for Nigerians. Um, and that is the reason we saw them you know, make that statement yesterday. And the, mes the message was um, a true reflection of what is happening and the things that are yet to come in the process of getting this done. Uh, like I said some times ago, the 774,000 jobs is just like a drop in the ocean of what we need of our job requirements in Nigeria. Uh, and with this, I stand by my party with the position they have taken, because when you look at the processes, it calls for it's a deep concern. You need, there's need for, for a review of the allocation or distribution of all these jobs. And uh, before October, don't be surprised with the things that you see that will be coming up about, about complaints and the shoddy manner with which these things are going to be handled. Again, there is need for review of the implementation process. Um, in a case where, 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 where who are, so those who are supposed to be critical stakeholders are not carried along, there is bound to be this kind of uh, acrimony and the agitation and the, uh, I mean, look of concern. That's what we're experiencing. So my party had it on credible, credible intelligence about the way these things are being uh, 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 I mean, managed. And that's why you, you saw the party came out yesterday speaking for Nigerians, hardworking youth of Nigerians who are supposed to be the beneficiary of this. The, fund, the financing of this project is majorly I mean, it's, it's a common patrimony, and everybody has to be involved. So it should not be politicized. Even you can, even though you cannot run away from a lot of political coloration, but you still have to manage in such a way that um, yeah, the majority of Nigerians will have a take in it. Look at what Obasanjo and Atiku did when they brought in um, um, a sustainable, a, I mean, an enduring, you know, initiative with the private sector that brought in jobs in the telecoms, in agriculture sector, and most of these sectors. You can understand how, how they did these things. So what we are telling them is just be transparent in this so that Nigerians can have a feel of it. We have lots of unemployment. If you look at the statistics in the last five years, a lot needs to be done. This is just a drop in the ocean. The federal government should try as much as possible to bring in private sector who are job providers. Come up with initiatives that will give us an enduring and sustainable job in Nigeria. That's all we're talking about. All right. I'm going to move to uh, Mr. Ekujumi now. Um, would, would you be surprised if the list shows a skewed selection? Can you try again? Uh, would you be surprised if the list eventually shows a skewed selection? I didn't get it properly, please. I'm asking, would you be surprised if the list eventually shows a selection that isn't you know, like what everyone is uh, seeking. It's, it, can you hear me clearly? No, no, no. I, 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 the selection process, if you recognize, as you made public before now, and there was this cut and mouse relationship that existed between the executive and the legislature because the legislature wanted to usurp the functions of the executive as constitutionally provided. And it took the directive from Mr. President for sanity to prevail that, look, the responsibility for implementing government policies is solely that of the executive. The legislature is to make laws. So the legislature should stop usurping functions not constitutionally allocated to. 
And for me, the allegation by the PDP trying to speak for the people is very, very laughable. It's ridiculous. Is the PDP telling Nigerians that Khan are members of the political party? Is PDP telling Nigerians that the uh, Supreme Council of the Islamic Cartel are members of only one party? So these infantile uh, tantrums in the name of opposition is you know, uh, insulting to the collective intelligence of Nigerians. And we need to punish this party. That look, opposition is a democracy requires a viable and intelligent one, and not one throwing tantrums. Now you have accused, and your accusation is based on a generalized statement. We will expect this party, if it wants to be taken seriously, to come up with facts of how the selection process has been skewed. Because I also recollect the Minister of State for Labor, uh, Mr. Felsos Kayamu, admonishing the committees to ensure that every resident in the 774 local government, you know, is taking a lot that it is not made an indigenous affair. And if the PDP has come up to say the, the allocation is made in particular political affair, I think it's beyond on them to provide us that list. Right. Maybe they have uh, hijacked the process, uh, like uh, the National Assembly illegally and unconstitutionally tried to do. Okay, I'm going to go back to Mr. Fabi now. Um, some say the PDP is also well, only afraid of its shadow. Um, that use, you know, of course, uh, is used to that style, you know, while they were in power. Uh, would you agree with that? Of course, I'm not going to agree with that. Um, in the past, the PDP has shown a lot of capacity when it comes to something like this. We saw how PDP managed uh, the Shopee at that time. Did you see any crisis between the members of the National Assembly and the executive? No. Did you see, um, 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 uh, well, even during the implementation, did you hear any hue and cry? Even ACN, as it were, we're trying to criticize what PDP did. But at the end of the day, it was a huge success. And they came and uh, tried to do something, you know, in that regard. Now, let me quickly respond to what my, my brother there said. Quickly, please. Yes, the, 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 the Khan member, the composition of the team, of the committee, the Khan member... The either is uh, the the chief imam or the um, Islamic Council uh, and other members that were there, they are not politicians. But how much of our political demography do they understand? I tell you, they will just bring a list to that committee, and these people will have nothing to do about it. No, are we saying that it is these people that will go on the street and go and bring in names? No, it's going to be by by the APC. They will bring the list. That's what they used to do. We tell you, PDP is raising an alarm now. Nigerians should listen to what PDP is saying, and they should watch very carefully on how they are going to do this. It was a bad press for them. When there is a crisis, when the crisis between the NDE, the National Assembly member, and the ministry started fighting about this. National Assembly comprises of so many political, I mean, uh, parties, and all of them jointly said, no, there is there is question. And that has cast a lot of doubts on the integrity and transparency that will follow this process, this job process. Right. We are grappling with the issue of the fact that it's just not enough. And now the implementation process is already being shooted in, in, in so many, you know, on towards things you can never imagine. Okay. We don't have to wait uh, until when they begin to, to expose or when they, begin, when they begin to experiment what they have in, in plan for this. Obviously, this thing, this 774,000 jobs is for APC members. Yesterday, right, I, I wanna... the PDP in the National Assembly said, mm -hmm. no, how can you just do, give us 30, 30, allocation, 30 out of 1,000? Who is taking the remaining of 970? So these are the questions they should answer. So you don't need to go far. Before right, you understand I'm going to, I'm going to have uh, Mr. Ikujumi react to that quickly. Yes, thank you. We all know very well that the members of the committee are to select the remaining... 970 because unfortunately we are started when we learned that the illegal the barbaric the reckless hijacking attempt to hijack the process by the national assembly which we some of us have described as legislative rascality at the end of the day the, the executive succumbed and they were given 13 process slots 
by local government. And the National Assembly members, very, very responsibly of them, have seen the claim that that 30 slots by 1,000 local government is still not enough for them. The question we want to ask them, those other members of those other uh, persons that will be screened and are uh, accepted or are uh, recruited into the process, will they not be from those two governments that these treasury assembly members represent? Are they going to be persons who will be recruited from the moon? Which are them? I know, uh, please let me correct this line. My brother over there said they made a success of shopping. That is a big lie. We all remember how shopping became a scandal. How it became an avenue for fishing, hungry, and jobless Nigerians. You remember how they became a rival militia to lawfully establish right. uh, agencies or states in, in Lagos, where innocent Nigerians, graduates, were made to pay between 50,000 naira to 100,000 to procure goods. To procure uh, uniforms. Okay. So uh, if you are talking about shopping, please hold on. It was a scam. I can say the total sense of responsibility. Please hold on. So uh, the, what Ms. the PDP is crying foul over. The question we should ask them is to go and admonish their members to the National Assembly. All right, and hold on, hold on, Mr. Kujumi. When there is none. But rather, they should ensure that they perform their oversight functions and ensure that the committee charged with the responsibility of recruiting these 1,000 persons, excluding the party that the executive has been untwisted to let go to this uh, uh, National Assembly of uh, budget partners who have now become uh, job as uh, uh, high right. that look, ensure that you perform your best functions so that these persons are recruited in Thank the you very much. and in an accountable manner. Rather than coming out and saying, oh, they are members Can of the APC. Mr. Kujumi, kindly hold on. I, I want to I wanna get a response from... How can you now be hold on, sir. I want to get a response from uh, Mr. Fabi. It means you want to derail and you are trying to... Uh, uh, and you want to discredit a plausible project. But when they can be rest assured. We in Nigeria will never allow them to do that. All right, great. Uh, Mr. Fabi, there's a lot has been said, right from Shopee to, of course, um, what the PDP might be planning to do. I, how do you respond to these allegations? You know, how, how can you, uh, you know, assure Nigerians that the PDP really has their best interests at heart? No, from time memorial, PDP has always had the interest of the people at heart. And that's exactly what I tell you. During the time of President Olumisha Gumbaba, you see what you saw what they did. A lot of Nigerians look at the multiply effect; are still benefiting from that today. That's by coming up with an initiative with the private sector that will provide sustainable job for Nigerians. It's there; the records are there. I am yet to see what this government have done in that line. That's not what I'm saying. How I many did you, did you witness any scam? Did you witness any acrimony between the executive and legislature during the the, uh, the, the both from the conception from the to implementation of Shopee. No, it's not happening. Like so these guys told us they, they promised Nigerians 3 million jobs every year. But unfortunately, we've lost more than 15 million jobs since they came on board. This is what we are talking about. Now, um, um, look, look at the issue of, um, they, came, they said they wanted to be exporting yam. See what, 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 what came after it to, to the UK by the former minister of agriculture. How do I wait? What did they achieve from it? No, any government that finds it difficult to pally and ally, align with the private sector they are in creating jobs, they're just wasting their time. And I said earlier, see, there's no how there won't be, let us be honest, there's no how you will not find kind of, some kind of political coloration when a government is trying to provide jobs. Job provision is not the duty of the government. Is the private sector that that is why we are running into this thing. And beyond that, they have shown that they don't have the capacity to even manage it from the conception to allocation to impl the implementation process. It is already fraud with a lot of doubt. And this government has expected them to have used this opportunity to restore confidence and faith of Nigerians in them. And that's what they have failed to do. So for Qu me, quickly, I quickly wish them well. We wait me. to see how far they can go with this. Yeah, we I wait to see. I want you to, you know, as quickly as possible, because we're out of time. Quickly share your thoughts on why you still don't trust the selection committee comprising traditional institutions, market women leaders, and um, NURTW leaders.
Um, why do you still have issues with those, you know, pr um, uh, committees, you know, being um, uh, part of, you know, who, who selects who gets jobs? Okay, for, look at this. Let, let's take it from this. I have issues. I have challenge with it. Now, we have millions of Nigerian youth who are qualified to get these jobs. But I tell you, they are not the ones that are going to get this job. A situation where you, 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 the stakeholders who are supposed to manage this process are not actually there. See, I know what this party would do. They will just hand a list to this committee. And that's where my fear is. So these are the people we have chosen from particular, uh, maybe from uh, wards or from uh, units, you know, political, uh, I mean, political units and what? This is what may like, what is going to happen. So that's why I have, I have my challenge with this. Why can't you, in the, I mean, why can't you give this to a private sector to handle? We have people who handle employment issues. We have Deloitte. We have uh, um, we have uh, Pitmawik. We have PwC that can actually help you do this. Seven seventy thousand, seven hundred four thousand jobs is a drop in the ocean. They should have done it better. But the moment you subject it to political process, this is what you are going to get. I right. am not. Um, I know, like I said, it will be difficult for this committee to do a human job. All right. Um, lastly, to Mr. Ekujumi now, um, can you quickly also share your thoughts on? Um, why you feel, you know, the selection process is very okay? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I sympathize with my brother over there. I recognize that he's been altered by the past when his party mismanaged everything they were saddled with. You recollect how the PVP... Uh, no, no, let's not... Nigeria, Hold on, Mr. Ikojumi. And the result is very, very, very to one like that today. Uh, I have seen how the same PDP uh, ensured that... Uh, more hold on, Mr. Ikonjumi. I, 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 I want you to quickly... You know, uh, we, uh, became, kindly uh, hold on, sir. A, a, a scandal through the Datsuki gates, which we are still battling with today. So I have absolute confidence in the committee of persons, in the committee of groups who are less of responsible and credible Nigerians from the civil society from the individual bodies and other critical stakeholders. That these are not partisan uh, organizations. These are organizations that have stood the test of time. That they will do a credible job. I won't be, uh, I won't have the mindset of a pessimist who has been wanted by his past, which uh, the PDP signifies. So I believe and I have strong confidence that the committee should do its job in a thorough and transparent manner. And also I want to admonish the National Assembly of people by both uh, the FPC and PDP to perform the oversight functions and ensure that the committee set up to uh, perform the recruitment process does not derive from its functions. Rather than some members of the National Assembly uh, try to discredit the program because their personal interest has not been met at the, at the extent of our collective interest. Because a lot of this crisis is because of the personal interest of the, the members of the legislature who want to adjust the process and turn it into job for the boys. It will never happen. Uh, Christian Association of very much. to pay cases for Islamic affairs, uh, civil society organizations, and other uh, AURT and organizations that are people by Nigerians, they don't belong to any party, party, the SPC, PDP, or the World Party. So All right. I have absolute confidence that the committee will do a good job, and we, the society as well, must be on the way look at to ensure that the, the mandate of this committee is met, rather than joining uh, these uh, people who are crying foul where there's none, all because you know they are personal interests. Thank you very much, sir. At the expense of our collective interest. Oladimeji, Fabi, and of course, uh, Nelson Kudrumi, thank you both for sharing your thoughts with us this morning. Thank you thank very you much. much. Thank you. You're still on The Breakfast. We'll go take a short break and uh, be back uh, with more stories this morning.